Okay, here's the project that I'm working on currently. Um, I have a treadmill. The console died. Uh, it's a 2004 model, so you can no longer buy parts for it. Uh, so what I did is I bought a Parallax developer board, 8-core microprocessor. Uh, I hooked it up to the uh, drive uh, control system on the treadmill. I can control everything from the treadmill, the up down incline, the speed increase and decrease. The uh, treadmill also had a uh, heart rate receiver right here and so right now I'm wearing a chest strap. Uh, in order to get information in and out of that controller I have this keyboard connected to it and how I have it set up is the uh, this is to slow it down the left button, speed it up as the right button this raises the incline, this lowers the incline. I also, ha I also have a heart rate target and if I increase the, the heart rate target by hitting that, it increase the target by 5 beats per minute, that lowers it by 5 beats per minute. Okay, also sitting up here I have a, uh, a laptop running the serial parallax serial terminal which uh, receives information from the microcontroller telling me how fast I'm going, how long I run, and heart rate target, and things like that. Uh, I just wanted to do all this before I turn it on because this thing makes a fair amount of noise. Okay, okay now we'll turn on the power. First thing you see is this flashing. That is my current heartbeat. And, uh, about 116 at the moment. This guy that flashes red five times a second, it uh, sends information to the laptop par parallax serial terminal. Uh, this is the uh, port on this par uh, development board that brings in the information to the keyboard. And there's power. This right here is originally from the treadmill. I have it plugged into this uh, uh, breadboard. And you can see I have these various current limiting resistors. Uh, one is, they're all 150 ohms. One uh, sends a 20 hertz square wave uh, out to the treadmill to control the speed. 15 to 85 percent duty cycle. Uh, th these other two lines are for up and down. Uh, these guys right here, this just goes to the, uh, the receiver for the heart rate. That's what the uh, serial terminal looks like. When you see the heart rate target on top of 100, then you have the heart rate in both beats per minute, that's the current heart rate, and the minute average, which is 114. Uh, currently, this treadmill is set at 3.0. I don't have a dot in here, I'm not using floating point math. And uh, I don't have the auto control enabled, which means it won't adjust the speed of the treadmill according to my heart rate. Uh, right now, I've had the heart uh, treadmill on for minute 45, and I've gone 0.08 miles. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the uh, increase the heart rate. So you go to here, and uh, each time I push that button, you can see it raises the heart rate target 130. That's where we'll stop for now. And then I'll go over and I'll press the enter button. That'll toggle the auto control mode. Okay, now you can see there's a minus one. That's, that's, that's the uh, Boolean thing for true. Okay, now you see we're at 2 minutes 19 seconds. When the uh, minute is over, when we get to the 3 minute mark here, it's going to compare the minute average heart rate, which is 121, to the target of 130. Uh, if I'm below that 130 at the minute point, it will increase the treadmill speed by point or uh, by yeah point three miles per hour. So it'll go to 3.3. You see that in a second. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Okay, you can see it just raised it to 3.3, and it'll continue to do this. Uh, so you can still see my heart beating over there. I haven't died yet. Okay.
Now what I'll do is I'll drop the uh, heart rate target down to 100 and 100. And in about 25 seconds, it'll realize that my heart is beating too fast, and it will uh, slow the treadmill down. It'll decrease it by 0.5 miles per hour, so that should go to 2.8. There's an old keyboard head laying around. Okay, and right now we have three. Okay, you can hear the tre treadmill slow down. Okay, what I just did is uh, that pretty much shows you how this thing works. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm pretty happy with the way it's set up so far. Uh, what I just got off the treadmill, I was on here for an hour and I had a heart rate target of 155 or 145 to 155 so I tried to maintain me in that range and I went about six miles in that amount of time. Uh, like you say, we'll take one last peek at this guy. You see my heart rate, oh, I'm too far away from the receiver so it's you know, barely picking up my heartbeat at this point. And uh, this parallax uh, development board also comes with all these uh, push buttons built in, some slide switches, uh, headphone jack, uh, stepper motor driver with a driver chip. And you see it just slowed the treadmill down some more. Comes with some uh, uh, LEDs. You know, so there's a lot of different things you can do right from this uh, device. Uh, this is the chip itself. The chip itself is about five bucks. This is the EEPROM where it stores the program. And uh, the de development board with the uh, with everything that you see on there is about $150. Uh, this is just a temporary thing. Sometimes my temporary things turn into permanent, but uh, this won't be one of them. One of the things I want to do with this board is I want to build a uh, uh, fuel injection system for a car. But we'll see how it goes. Okay. Hope everybody thought that was interesting enough and worthwhile.